What actually happens in the body during a multiple sclerosis attack? This animation made by a neurologist is the best I've seen, and I'm gonna take you through it right now. What's up? I'm Damien. I got diagnosed in 2016 and been making content about MS ever since. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about MS while laughing and gaining a sense of community, start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any videos. Dr. Barry Singer's got an animated explanation of what actually goes on in the body during an MS attack. When I saw it for the first time, my mind went a little something like, This is a T-cell. Oh. A T cell is a white blood cell that lives in our body. You live in my body? Did you pay rent here, son? This guy is part of our immune system. Okay. He fights viruses and keeps us from getting sick. Thanks, little buddy. We have lots of them. Whoa. In MS, some T cells tend to go a little crazy and start causing more harm than good. That does not look good at all. These autoreactive cells start attacking our brain and spinal cord. What? It He's doing the pee-pee dance. Mm, and he's hopping mad. Oh, hey, hey, calm down there, big fella. No one really knows why this happens. The trigger may be in our genes, a virus, or even something else in our environment. I don't care why it happens. Can you make it stop, Doc? No? Uh, hmm. well, can you give me some good drugs then? Oh, thanks, man. Drugs are cool. With a few little tricks, tricks, T cells can wiggle out of our bloodstream and get into our brain and spinal cord. You you don't belong there. Where they can cause major trouble. T cells use mm -hmm. adhesion molecules to anchor mm -hmm. down near the blood mm -hmm. vessel wall. Wait, what is going on? T cells have a oh. special hookup uh, oh, called whoa. VLA4 that locks in with the adhesion molecules. Once anchored, they sneak Excuse through the me? blood vessel walls by secreting matrix metalloproteinases. That is not natural. In our brain and spine, nerve cells are everywhere. Because we need them. And we use them for almost everything. Walking the dog. <laughs> eating dinner. Playing soccer. I like to do all those things. Well, except maybe soccer. We constantly use our nerve cells to send signals from our brain to our body. This is the myelin sheath. Myelin wraps around the nerve cells, neurons, to allow messages to travel to and from your brain super fast. That's important when some nerve cells are several feet long. People ain't several feet. Hell, I'm tall and I'm not several feet. Once the autoreactive T cell recognizes that myelin is near. Uh-oh. Get your man, he wildin' son. All havoc breaks loose. The T cell releases cytokines. What the hell? Which is like the bat signal for bad guys. T cells henchmen all show up. Macrophages oh. and B cells. Oh. The B cells transform into plasma cells and release oh. antibodies mm. that attack mm. the myelin. Mm -mm. Macrophages dump nitrous oxide chemicals it's onto the myelin, e causing further injury. So hold up, one cell just skeets, skeets, skeets all over my nerves, and the other one just farts all over my nerves? Cool. Great. Thanks. Just, just so we're clear. The longer this beatdown goes on, beatdown? That is more like a skeet, skeet down. The more difficult it is for our nerve cells to carry our signals. Kicking the soccer ball becomes more difficult. We become exhausted. Mm-hmm. Hell, I'm tired right now. This is an MS attack. Yeah, it is. In the worst cases, this myelin-munching crew will chew this thing all the way to the nerve itself, breaking its ability to send signals. Mm. Bastards. To keep that from happening, we need to repair that myelin coating before the bad T-cells come back. Mm. You right about that. Our body does this with oligodendrocyte. Hey, baby girl, how you doing? This cell, Ollie, will wrap oh, arms and legs around oh. and around the nerve cells oh. to make new myelin. T-Cell and his sidekicks can cause major damage in just days, but Ollie needs more time to repair the myelin. You gotta work faster than that, baby girl, come on! That's why recovery from an attack or relapse can sometimes take weeks to months. Ollie lays new myelin on so thick those electrical signals pass through the nerves like greased lightning. Greased lightning? Wait, microphage farts? B cell skeet skeet? Ooh, this is this is getting out of hand real fast. I need to rest real quick. 
The rest of that video includes how the drugs Copaxone, Interferons, and Tisabri actually work. So go watch the whole video on Dr. Singer's channel if you want to know more about that. His video was extremely impactful to me because it breaks down the disease process so simply. And while you wish it wasn't happening to you, you go, hmm, okay, I see. And understanding how it works doesn't make it any better, but hmm, okay, I see. At least there's that. So much about MS is so complex. Which diet to follow, what DMT to take, how to properly rehab to get back some of your physical function. It's a lot of information to ingest, so it's just nice when it can all be broken down in a manner that's simple. Shouts to the doctors out here making engaging content around the disease. We need it. Thank you. Okay, bye!